Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I am so excited because I'm finally sitting down with the new Blend Bunny Cosmetics Sugar and Grunge Eyeshadow Palette. This palette was generously gifted to me in PR. Now, this is a pastel palette that I feel is done right. I feel like I'm going to really connect. I'm really going to vibe with this palette just because we're going like Blend Bunny tradition from light to medium to deep. The shimmers are at the bottom. I know there was some talk on Instagram about how the shimmers are usually at the top and now they're at the bottom and that they were throwing some people off. Guys, personally, I don't really think it matters. We just want the shadows to perform really well. And I think Blend Bunny always has a nice layout when it comes to their palettes. And I especially love the packaging of this one. This palette retails for $41. You're getting a beautiful mixture of matte and shimmer shadows. It is in stock right now on their website. I do not have a, a code with Blend Bunny, but I will most definitely find one for you and have it in the description box. That way you guys can save a little bit of money if sugar and grunge is going to be in your future. If it is your first time here on my channel, let me just say hello and welcome to all of you and invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you are a fan of Blend Bunny, if you're a fan of pastels, you just want to see what this new sugar and grunge is all about, be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. I'll be creating three looks for you guys today, and I cannot wait to get started. If you guys want to see how these three looks turn out, keep on watching. Now, I've already primed my eyelids with the Bella Beauty Bar Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm also using a new mascara. This mascara launches today, but I believe it's Saturday when you're watching today's video, um, but it's Friday when I'm filming this video, and this is a new What's Up Beauty Watch Me Mascara. I only have one coat on. This is a volumizing and lengthening mascara, and let me just go ahead and show you guys the applicator really quick, the little wand. I like it. I think it's going to be good. I feel like I might need two coats of this one. I don't feel like I curled my lashes enough. I am going to try and get a lash perm next week sometime. I have a spa day planned for next week and I cannot wait for that. So if they can squeeze me in for a lash perm, I'm definitely going to get it done sometime next week. I also want to mention that on my cheeks, I am wearing the Blend Bunny Bare Cheeks Palette and I'm only using this light baby pink shade. The highlighter I have on is from JCat. All of the makeup that I'm wearing, of course, I will have it linked in this, the description box of today's video. So I am so excited. Let's dive into this palette. I'm wearing this little blue and off-white tee. Oh, it's not a tee, but it's actually a shirt. It's one of the ones that I got from my Timu haul. So I really like it. It feels really good. It really feels really soft. And I did get a medium just so it can be a little bit looser. And I'm wearing it with some cut-off denim shorts. Um, so let's do something blue since I have blue on. I think I'm going to start with this blue down here. Now, the layout of Blend Bunny palettes, they make it really easy to just go column by column and use the shadows that are in each column. Now, you don't have to do that. You don't have to just stay within those columns. You can deviate and just let your brush go all around the palette the way I like to do. But I'm going to start with this shade here. The shade is called Candy. And then I'm going to go into the shade Baggy Jeans. I'm probably going to end up using these three shades in the crease and outer corner. Now I do have some Blend Bunny brushes, but I also have some new Clarity Cosmetics brushes. I also have some It's Bell Cosmetics brushes up here. So uh, I'm going to try and incorporate, you know, what I can. I want to try and use some of the Blend Bunny brushes, obviously, because we're using a Blend Bunny palette. So I'm going to go in first with the B5 brush with the shade Candy. And let me just make sure I don't have any creases. There is a lot going on in my home today. I am so excited because I think I've been telling you guys this for a while, but my city actually got fiber optic 
uh, cables, a fiber optic internet installed citywide. And my area is the first to get turned on. That's because I live kind of like in the downtown area and I'm close to like city hall and stuff. So obviously that area is the one that gets turned on first, but they're um, digging right now. And then later this afternoon, they're going to come install my new modem and all of that stuff. Guys, I was paying $155 for the highest speed internet I could get, including 20 channels, 20 channels of my choice. That's a lot of money. You want to know how much I'm paying now? $30. Ooh, I needed that. I needed that savings, especially right now since I'm going through a career change. Any little bit of savings helps and I could not be more excited. This blue is gorgeous. Look at that. That is just a beautiful spring summertime blue. It reminds me of a swimming pool. Loving it. Okay, next we're going to go in and I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to go in with the B1 brush and I'm going to go in with that next shade called Baggy Jeans. And I'm going to focus that like right in the crease, also a little bit in the outer corner. I'm not going to take it as high up as I did candy. There is a little bit of kick up in the pan, but that could also be the style of brush that I'm using since it does have a little bit of a point to it. Let me know if you pick this palette up. What has your experience been? I got mine a couple days ago and I was so excited. But I had like so many other things like pre-filmed and then like they were just, you know, I had everything organized, like what I was going to film with. So I know I'm filming with this a little bit later than I wanted to, but that's just, that's just the schedule I'm on. It's been a really hectic last couple weeks for me. Um, I've been through <laughs> some anxiety and I don't really suffer much from anxiety. The only time I really get anxiety is like when I fly. Uh, but I haven't done any flying this week or last week, but there's just been some stuff, unfortunate stuff going on and um, kind of took a toll on me. So still been pumping out the videos. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me sane. But behind the scenes, guys, yeah, I haven't been doing that that great but I, I I think I'm coming out of my little funk I think things are getting better I feel like things are getting better so you know the weekend is upon us so I'm feeling better I'm feeling better okay I'm loving the blend I'm getting I'm actually thinking I'm gonna keep on with the same brush I'm just gonna clean it off and I'm gonna go down to teen spirit which is just the darkest shade in that column and focus it right out here. Guys, I know I tend to do more like traditional eyeshadow looks, but you know, I, I think I should change, put this like in my bio here on YouTube. Like I like to create attainable eyeshadow looks. Like I love seeing the creativity of makeup artists and just, you know, amateur makeup artists, you know, self-taught makeup artists and the unique designs that they come up with. I just, you know, I, I, I don't, my mind doesn't think like that, you know, like graphic liners and stuff like that. And so oftentimes, I mean, you see me doing kind of like the same steps and I hope that doesn't bore you. Um, but I also want to just show you how the palette performs and this is the best way that I know how to do it. Just doing steps and doing it in a way that I know works for me. Um, just so that I can test it out and make sure the shadows, you know, blend out well. So, you know, and I know a lot of you out there, you don't, you don't create elaborate looks like right now this is probably really elaborate for some of you guys and so I try to make it easy you know I try to do as as 
easy of looks as I can while still trying to utilize as many shades as I can, if that makes sense. I think this is looking pretty, pretty good. We need to lay a shimmer down. And I'm seeing two that I want to use. I think I want to go in with this shade first. This one is grungy. And then we're going to go into the shade over here called Butterfly. I'm taking grungy on a Morphe M167. Wow, that is really pretty. For me, and I know I'm in the minority of this, but I, I prefer Blend Bunny shimmers over their mattes, believe it or not. I just think they have a beautiful shimmer formula. And look at this, no glitter glue and no fallout. I'm gonna flip the brush around. I'm gonna go in with Butterfly. I did spray the brush again. I think I'm gonna add a little pop of a lighter shade right in the center. Let's try this pink one over here. This one is called Bubblegum, and I'm gonna pick it up with my finger. I'm just gonna place it right there. Oh, wow, yes, right choice. Perfect, mm, love it, all day long. Now for the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this burgundy down here. This one's called Drew. I'm going to use a Blend Bunny B3 for that shade. And I'm going to take that same shade I put right here in the center. I'm going to do that for the inner corner. So I'm going to leave a little bit of an empty space there. Now with that same brush, I'm going to pick up Bubblegum. And I am going to spray it. I've been using the Glam Light Setting Spray, the one from Rick and Morty Collection. I like it. I like it for dampening the brush for the shimmers. I think I like it more for that than I do an actual makeup setting spray. Okay guys, uh, I'm not gonna do any falsies today just because you know I wanna try out this mascara today. I wanna see what it's all about. I might add another coat of it since I only have like one and a half coats on, but I'm gonna add like some liner, probably just some black liner to tight line, a little bit of liner on the lower lash line, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. All right guys, so here's the completed look number three. I just added a second coat of mascara. I tight line the top lash line with my Rare Beauty liner pen. And then I also tight line the upper waterline with this new eyeliner from Rare Beauty. They dropped a black, a brown, and a burgundy shade. For the lower waterline, I went in with this one from Give by Gwen Stefani. This one is in the shade Violet Timing. I love this. I love the way it looked. Look at that beautiful shimmer. Oh, it's just so, so good. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. So for look number two, let's do, let's do green. Of course, we got to do green. Uh, I guess I'm going to start up here. I'm going to start, am I going to start up there? I think I'm going to do a little bit of green and pink. So actually, I think I'm going to start with a pink first. Are you going to do that one? Yeah, I'm going to start with this shade first. This one is called uh, Skater Girl. That's cute. And then I'm going to go in with Ironic. And then I'll probably use 1995 to deepen it up. And then we'll take it from there. So I'm going in with Skater Girl on a Blend Bunny B5. I'm going to focus this on the inner corner. see I have a little bit of mascara right there. All right, now with that same brush, I'm gonna go into, I. it's ironic. Yeah, ironic, not iconic. I love the combination of pink and green together. I think it's such a cute, especially like a spring combo. And since these are pastels, you wouldn't really need to deepen this up for like a nice springtime look. But I always feel pastels wash me out. I've said that like so many times, which is why they're not like, like my favorite shades to work with. But 
I like that I can deepen up these looks. I like that there's a uh, light, medium, and deep shadows in here. And I think Blend Bunny just did it right. Like that's, this is the palette for those of you who don't like working with pastels because you're going to get a nice combination of both. Now on a B4, I'm going to go in with that shade 1995. Just focus that. What about here? I don't know if I'll deepen this look up too much. Kind of just leave it a little bit on the lighter side. This would be the medium shade in that green column. I want to do something with the grays. I think that's going to be the next look I do. I mean, you got to hand it to Blend Bunny. They just have a good formula all around. I know so many of you love their matte shadows, and I do too. I just, I don't know, I just have a particular liking to their their shimmer formula. They could use this, leave this as an all matte look. I'm trying to use as many shades as I can, so I'm not going to do that. But you could, because they all blend together really, really nicely. Um, let me see. For the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here. This one's called Complicated. I'm going to take that on a B3 brush from Blend Bunny. That's a nice soft brown. Nothing too intense. This palette is kind of reminding me, well, like some of these shades, a little bit of Natasha Denona Retro and the uh, In Mel's Memory Bundle from Sydney Grace. Let me know what you think about that. But at least this look is giving me those vibes. Now I think I'm going to go in with this peach shade right here. This one is called Prom Queen. And I'm using a damp Morphe M124. This is a quick and easy look to create. And I'm going to go in with this shade Sweetheart. I'm going to try and see what that looks like up here on the brow bone. It doesn't show up too, too much. Let me add some finishing touches and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. All right, guys, so here's the completed look number two, a very soft glam look. I used one eyeliner, and it is this one from NYX. It is their NYX Epic, Epic Smoke Liner in the shade Sage Sparks. That's what I used for the top lash line and for the lower waterline. And, of course, I just touched up the mascara. And I love the way both of these looks turned out. Very dramatic. Something a little more soft, maybe a little more wearable for the office. And then maybe this is something that you're going to use more for going out or for the weekend. I love the way both of them turned out. I'm going to go take some quick pictures and then I'll be right back. I'll probably remove this look. It's a little easier to remove this one. And then I'll come back and we'll start creating the third and final look with a Sugar and, drun and Grunge. Drunge. Sugar and Grunge from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Okay, so for the third look, I told you guys I wanted to dabble a little bit in the grays, and then maybe we can do something fun for the lower lash line. Um, so I'm going to start, I'm going to use these three shades right here. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to use these two shades, and then I'm going to go to this deeper purple. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so the first one is called Payphone. The second one is going to call be called Mixtape. And I'm using the Blend Bunny B5 brush. That's a nice shade of gray. It almost looks like a pale blue in a way, like a blue gray. Now on a B1, I'm going to go in with Mixtape. Focus that in the crease, a little bit out here in the outer corner. Same brush. Now I'm going to go into that dark purple called Moody. 
focus that right out here. To change brushes. I feel like that's looking a little patchy. Let me get my rougher 13. Sometimes it's just a different shape, different style of brush that can cause patchiness. I think that looks a lot better. So I'm going to go back in with that medium tone gray right now. Just kind of want to fix this purple if I can. You go back in with mixtape. This was the mid-tone gray. I'm going to go back in with payphone, which is the very first shade, that very pale gray. Uh, let's do, oh, I already see what the shade we're going to use. We're going to use Jawbreaker right here. How many of you guys watch that movie Jawbreaker? I remember that movie from back in the day. Using a Game Beauty E04. Okay, I think I'm gonna do detention down here for the lower lash line. I am happy to say I never got detention when I was in high school. Never. I think maybe once in middle school. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I think I'm going to add a little bit of Moody, which was that deepest purple. I'm going to keep it really close to the lash line. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use all of the shades in this palette. There were just a couple I didn't get to use. But I think I used enough. I used almost all of the shimmers. I think there was one shimmer shadow I didn't get to use. But you know what? Maybe I can incorporate it right now. And it's this shade. Oh, I have to use it. It's Don't Speak after the No Doubt song. Yes, I definitely have to use that one. I'm using the B3 brush. Love it, love it. I think I'm going to add another shade for the inner corner. Clean off that brush. I'm going to go back in with the shade Bubblegum. Just add that here just to lighten it up a little bit. Okay, guys, let me pop off camera, do those finishing touches. I'll be right back to show you this third and final look. So here's the completed look number three. I went in with the NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Vivid Violet. I think they've reformulated these. I have a very old one. I'm surprised it's not even dried up, but it still worked great for the top lash line. For the lower water line, I went in with this one. This might be discontinued. I don't think I've seen it at Ulta. It's from Maybelline. It's their Tattoo Studio Liner in the shade Purple Pop. And then, of course, I just touched up the mascara. I love the way all three of these looks turned out. And the mascara, love the way it performed. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts. I'm also gonna give you a couple comparisons in case you're not gonna be able to pick this one up. Um, you might have some other things in your collection that are similar to this one. All right, guys, so that wraps up the three looks with Sugar and Grunge from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Love the cover art, 24 different shadows, a nice mixture of matte and uh, very beautiful shimmer duochrome shadows in here. I love the layout of their palettes. Whether they put the shimmers on the top or at the bottom, to me, it doesn't really matter. But I love how you can just take this palette column by column by column, and it's going to work for you um great you don't there's not really a lot of thinking involved when it comes to blend bunny cosmetics palettes but definitely feel free to mix around because you're going to be able to create some beautiful looks with this one in my opinion this is one of the best matte palette not matte palettes but pastel palettes that i've tried just because we get that row of depth and i really need depth just to kind of you know uh, awaken my face a little bit because I really do feel pastels drown me out but I love the concept of this I love everything about it I love the 90s throwback I was born in 82 but I like grew up in the 90s I was in middle school and high school graduated from high school the year 2000 so you know I'm I'm a 90s kid a 90s girl and this just takes me back I 
especially love the cover art. So this palette is definitely getting two thumbs up from me. The mascara so far from What's Up Beauty, I like it. I think it's a nice addition to their collection and I'm going to keep trying it out. I will keep you guys posted. Some alternatives to Sugar and Grunge in case you are not going to be able to pick this up. First one I thought of was this one from Glamlight. How many of you have this ice cream palette right here? floating around in your stash. I know this one came out a while ago, but here they are, one on top of the other. You can definitely see some similarities. I think you get those yellows and a little bit more brown tones, orange tones over here in the ice cream palette. And I believe this one is still in stock. Um, I want to say, I want to say they're almost the same price. There's probably just like a couple, like maybe three or four dollar price difference between the two. Both are really great companies, really great formulas. And then the second palette I thought of, which I know a lot of you picked up, especially if you're over in the UK, because this is a UK-based a UK indie makeup brand, and it is Cosmic Brushes, the Delicious Delights palette. I recently created three looks with this palette, so if you want to search that up, it is definitely on my channel. And then here they are, one on top of the other, so you guys can see the similarities. Definitely you're getting more shades in the Blend Bunny um, cosmetics palette versus the uh, cosmic brushes palette but you know what if you're looking for more depth blend bunny is definitely going to be your answer and for me that I want more depth when I'm playing with pastels this is definitely going to be hands down for me you know what I'm going to grab one more palette one more palette that I have to give a shout out to because it really made a great first impression in my stash hang on one second so here is the best mattes palette from Bella Beauté Bar this is a collaboration with Ellie Starr and Brittany Huffman Guys, if you're just looking for pure on matte shades, and you can see there are some pastels in here, and I'm going to hold it up with the Blend Bunny palette. Um, you know, if you're not lacking for shimmers, maybe you have a lot of full on duochrome and multi-chrome palettes, then Best Mattes is going to be your best friend because they knocked it out of the park with this one. I do have a code with Bella Beauté Bar. I believe it is step 10 and it'll give you 10% off of your order. I don't have an affiliate code, unfortunately, with Blend Bunny Cosmetics, but I'll find one and I'll have one for you in the description box in case you want to pick this up. The Sugar and Grunge Palette, I wouldn't blame you if you picked it up because it is an awesome palette another beautiful release from the brand let me know what you thought about this palette what did you think of the three looks i created are you team one two three none all leave it all in the comments down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water cheers and i'm going to see you all very soon bye